Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. It's Coffee Time with John and Mama here. I'm John. This is Mama. If you're not watching us, uh, go on over to our Facebook page and you can uh, watch all of our videos there and you can like us, share us, and follow us. Thanks, Mama. Yeah, that's right. Happy Friday. Woo! It finally got here. It's mm. nice. Though. It was a long week. It seemed fast, but it seemed long. Does that make any sense? Long, Mama. <laughs> long is the word I'm using. I had extra stuff to do this week. I had extra meetings, extra. It seemed like just a week of extras. Yeah, you've had a lot of extras. A lot of extras, extras. Folks, what are we having tonight? I'm telling you what we're having. We're having one of my favorites. Um, now, this is not already gone as planned. I've just put this in there about 40 minutes ago. And it's just some chicken, Italian dressing, lemon pepper, and lemons. Um, if I were going to, I didn't want to dirty up the marinator. Yeah, the marinator works best because you can flip it, but you really need to work on that for several hours or a day okay. if you can. So I just came in a few minutes ago and I'd call mama. I said, is this what we're having? And she said, yeah, I've got the chicken laid out. I said, oh, I forgot to have you marinate it. She said, well, you can do that when you get here. So it's really not even 40 minutes. It's really just being... Uh, yeah. 20 minutes. I thought it'd been 12. Been 20 minutes, folks. Whatever, um, it's got it on it. Well, I didn't get off work till 6.30. Um, it's been since I got home. So, it doesn't matter, though. A little bit of marinade is better than no marinade. And that lemon juice has already started well, breaking it. it was frozen when I... Right. When we got them out, I got them out. It wouldn't have done no good. The lemon juice is already breaking down in there. The flavors are already there. And we're going to fry them in that too. And that's going to help. So um, the fact that I didn't get to marinate them all day or all night, don't let that discourage you from pouring a little marinade. I have done it for 10 minutes before and, and cooked them. Yes, it's better if I wait a little longer, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. That's right. It is a beautiful day today here. We had a storm. Yeah. Earlier. But it's it's recovered nicely, Mama. I know it. I went to the mailbox after the storm and I shocked that it was so nice as it was. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a little rain, so we got a little rain, and that's good. Now, what I'm doing here, these are new red potatoes right out of Mama's garden. And I'm just cutting them so they'll cook a little quicker, but... Um, this is what they look like. This is just, and I halfened them all, and a few of my quarter. Like I'm gonna give that one another little cut. It just makes them easier to eat, but it also makes them quicker to cook, of course. Now, what are we gonna do with these tonight? Is just what Mama said. Was it last night? No, I forgot. It's one of them nuts. <laughs> last Remember, Mama night. said I've been wanting some roasted red potatoes. Yeah. Well, that's what we're having. If Mama wants it, we're going to cook it. I'm even going to cut these little ones just to make them to they're not choke size. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> we know about grapes, don't we, Mama? Oh, yeah. I got choked on them bad. Yes, you did. And everybody was here to watch it. But I think if, you'd, if we hadn't been filming our first live, you would have coughed it up. We wouldn't have had as much drama. Drama. <laughs> little drama for mama. Mm -hmm. Now what I've done here is this is just the pan that came in our Easy Bake Oven, which is just a KitchenAid. And what I've done is I have sprayed this with a little bit of avocado oil. And I just put the avocado oil in here. Now are you sure you got oil on stick? Yes, bigger? mama, this is, <laughs> I'm most sure. This is avocado oil and I just coated the bottom of the pan. And um, remember you can I use, gave you the vinegar spray. I do remember. <laughs> this is just to cut the bottom of that pan. I'm going to throw these right in on top of that. Oh, there's a little grape sized potato left. The new red potatoes taste different. Why do you call them new potatoes? These have not been in storage, these came straight out of the garden a day or so ago. So they're new, new to this world. They came right out of the garden, right out of the dirt. And Mama did what they call gravel in them and that's where you take a little potato fork and you just simply well, won't you get loud john 
quick that. left one way over our thigh to the lonesome on the cutting board. Oh, Did you see I was, that? no, 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 no. What I didn't think you'd notice that. So, you can do whatever you want to to these potatoes. Um, we do just the simple dash dash of salt and pepper. That's how Mama likes them. Now, I might do a lot of them. I may put smoked paprika. And you want plenty of salt on potatoes because they absorb salt. And they, this is your opportunity to decide on why they're raw. Then when they start cooking, they'll start absorbing. You know, I didn't turn that up and I don't like I was going to. I just Mommy had took, one job to do. Well, I know I took the rack out, but I didn't turn it up. I looked over and it wasn't no. Now this pepper, you know, <laughs> chokes us up. Oh, that went straight to my... I've never had pepper. That when you shake it, which I shook it pretty good here, it went. It goes straight to your throat. Okay, we ready to... Not yet, Mama. Remember? Oh, you're going to spray your oil. I'm going to put a little oil on top of this now. Same avocado oil. Just spraying these down. And this is because some of y'all told us to. It makes it better, John. And you are so right. So I sprayed it down with avocado oil. We're going to put that in the Easy Bake and let it go for about 25 minutes. Check it. We're going to put it down on 450 because we ain't ashamed of that heat. We're going to use it. That only goes to 450. And that will cook them and it will also give them a good brown. We'll, if at the end we'll put a little broil on it. Now in this chicken, you can use anything you want. This is zesty Italian dressing. And this is, it's empty. I used, well, it's almost, it's... I used the rest of the bottle. I didn't use a whole bottle. It was about to here. Maybe a little over, about half. And I put it in there. I put my chicken. These are chicken tenders, fresh chicken tenders. They were frozen, but they were, they're fresh. They're not store-bought frozen. Do I want uh, that or that big skillet to put it on the stove? Uh, it don't matter. There's not that many of them. You can do that big skillet. Um, so anyway, that's... The potatoes, roasted potatoes, that's it. <coughs> For the sides. And we're going to have a salad. I'll show you that in just a second. Easy, quick salad. Delicious salad. So the chicken, you put it in there. And what you want to do is mash all the air out of it. Um, like I said, we used our marinator most of the time. But I knew this wasn't going to be in there a good hour. But I put the lemons and all. The lemon that is wedged it up and put it in here. And as I squeeze it, I give it a little squeeze. And I take the air out so your marinade will touch more of the meat. And I'm just going to massage this in. If you put it in, in the marinator, you really don't even have to do anything to it. You just put it in there and let it set. And it'll absorb. But this will make a big difference in just a few minutes here. It's been probably about 30 minutes now that I've had this back. An hour would be better. Overnight would be great. But not necessarily the only way to do it. Because you're going to get that flavor in there. Now, and I just took this lemon pepper and just sprinkled. I probably sprinkled about two tablespoons in here in this marinade. And I'm going to put some more on top. So we're having lemon pepper chicken, roasted red potatoes, and then this wonderful salad right here. This is the salads I was telling you about. We're not sponsored by Walmart. Walmart, if you want to sponsor us, you can. Um, market side salads. These are cheap. They're under five dollars. They're four or three. This one's remember. called Sunflower Bacon Crunch, Cabbage Blend, Sunflower Seeds, um, Uncured Bacon Crumbles with Sweet Onion and Citrus Dressing. This will be my maiden voyage with this particular one, but the market side salads, I have used several of them, and they're all been good. Uh, there's an Asian one. There is a um, the kale one. I love the kale one. Um, one of my friends said, my favorite is the Sunflower Bacon Crunch. And the dressing it is wonderful. I'm going I'm to take this apart in front of y'all so you can see what you get. This is a kit. These are the chopped salad kits. So that's what we're having for supper. Now Mama's going to take this chicken and start it a cooking. And just, she'll just take each piece out. Put in here and we'll sprinkle a little lemon pepper on it. You want to do it up here so I can see you put it in the skillet? or? Well, you can lay it in the skillet. Okay. If you want to. Give me a 
I need some tongs. I'm going to be a part. If you get some tongs, I've got one tong, two tongs. You got it? No, not yet. I'm looking. I found it. Yay. I got it. These come apart. You can use them for salads or anything like that or just as a dipper. But then when you get ready for tongs, you just pinch it together. And you got tongs. Got enough avocado oil in there. I think it is, Mama. What are you thinking? Oh, well, we'll see. You want more? Avocado oil ain't going to hurt you. It's just... Someone asked the other night where I got these sprayers. I just ordered them off of Amazon. I think they're on my favorite links. If they're not, it's just a sprayer. It's got a 9 milliliter sprayer. And I just pour the avocado in there just to be able to use it really with the um, air fryer that I've found. I like it pretty good for all uses. So these, you can tell here, are just tenders. I'm just going to lay them right in here. I don't even know how many is in here. It was... Two breasts is what it was. Two full breasts. Mm -hmm. And you can see, even though I didn't marinate it long, look at all that spices from that Italian dressing that's still clinging to that chicken. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There's a lot of this, Mama. Well, it was two breasts. I guess we'll have lunch tomorrow. Have or it, breakfast. Have it on the rest of our salad. I know we won't eat all that salad. Yeah, we can have it on salad. There's so many things you can do with this chicken. This is just grilled chicken. Lemon pepper chicken. Uh, ain't there some more in there? There's one more here. One little one. Oh, that was a lemon, I said. You can check it out, Mama. I'll give you the bag. You make sure I didn't leave it stray. But I can have that. Don't run. What? The skillet. Oh, you're gonna. So then, once you lay it in there, just like that, then I just sprinkle the top of it with lemon pepper. Again, and I don't turn it over and try to do both sides. This is plenty because you've already marinated it in some. And then, time this browns on one side, you turn it over. Then you're good to go. And that's it. I will put a dash of salt on it. Even though lemon pepper's got a little salt, I'll put just another dash. And that's it. I didn't touch any raw chicken, so we're all good. Mama's already disposed of the back. Alright folks, that's that. Supper is coming together right before your eyes in just a matter of moments. In this salad, I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to show you this kit. And this is what I like about it. This is my favorite thing about this salad. It's not just taste. We've left it in the bag. We got these. This is not this week. This was, was it the first of last week, Mama? No, last week. Last of last week. So. This is just regular salad bowl, and I'm just going to dump this in here. And look at all that beautiful, look at that beautiful greens. It's got cabbage, it's got a kale, um, what all I told you. But inside here is this wonderful little packet. I won't be using the bag anymore, whether we eat all of it or not. It'll be, uh, can y'all hear the chicken already starting? We'll leave it in this bowl here. If you're having company, this is too quick and too easy. Throw this together. It's a beautiful salad and it really does taste wonderful. I've got it everywhere. That's beautiful. Then, you get this handy dandy little packet, which is the kit. And here you have sunflower seeds. And then here you have your bacon. Right here, it's all together. And if you had to buy everything separate, you know, if you bought bacon, you bought sunflower seeds, if you bought your dressing, a bottle of dressing, then this salad is going to cost a lot more. But this way, it's less than $5. Now, if you've not bought a salad in a restaurant in a while, 
you're missing out. A salad is going to run you a good, a, a, a meal salad. I mean, a side salad is a little cheaper. But if you buy a salad as a meal, you're going to pay $14, $15 for that salad. This, and not getting more than this. This is less than, it's $4 and some change. But that's it. Mama, you like sunflower seeds, don't you? Alexa. She just started playing some song. We don't have the rights to whatever she was playing, though. Don't want to make nobody mad. Have to be careful of that kind of thing. These sunflower seeds, I'm just going to pour them right on there, too. Now, I'm going to take some liberties, as you can as well, and I'm going to put a little bit of a tomato here. Right on here with it. Yes, now you want more tomato than that? That's the one washed. You can. You want another? Get a. You wash this one already. It's here in the wash bowl. Well, I wash it because it's set. You want to do a lemon cucumber? If you want to try one, is this knife what you had on it? Potatoes. Potatoes. This is a lemon cucumber. I'm going to try it too. But if you didn't want to try anything, look at that beautiful salad. Look at that salad. And you have dressing here with it. And I hear this dressing is wonderful. I'm not going to pour this dressing up in anything, but you certainly could. I'm just going to leave it like it is. And we'll just cut the tip off and squirt a little on the side we eat. I don't dress the whole salad because of that. Mama's keeping me clean here. That chicken. Oh, gosh. It smells. It smell, I'll tell you what it smells like. Do you know when you go to the beach and you go out to eat and all those restaurants puff the scent out in the air where they're grilling steaks and chicken and you're standing there in the parking lot and you're thinking, this smells awfully good. That's what it smells like. You can smell that lemon, that pepper, that it, it's just wonderful. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of tomato in this salad. Just so we'll have a little tomato. Now mama don't like them in pieces. I'll eat them. I don't care. I figure they're tomato too. Clean off my board a little bit. This is a lemon cucumber. Mama, do you peel something like this? You know, I've never had it. A lady sent us though. One of y'all sent us the seeds. I'm going to learn right now. Yeah, we're going to peel that. It's right here. I saved the pack so I can show it. Here's the pack. I saved the seeds and raised them. In. Cucumber lemon. It's got a tougher outer shell than a regular cucumber. Well, I'm not going to let it stay on a little too long because I wasn't familiar with it. And I don't really taste any lemon. Maybe I'm supposed to. I don't know. It's not a terribly thick shell. But it is a little thicker than a than a cucumber. Not thicker than a lemon. Mama, you want to try? Yeah, give me a little bit of this. I don't know what it is. I ain't doing no good that way. Let me sit there and peel it like I would an apple. What are you finding? I was just uh, the deluxe yellow. Colored flavor. I can't read all that. You ain't got your glasses on? Yeah, I got my glasses on. Don't let that chicken get too dark. You don't want your chicken to overcook. Make sure it's done. Use the thermometer and temp it. But it don't have to be dark. You want your chicken to be... I want my chicken to be... Nice golden brown. Unless it's fried chicken, then I want it to be fried chicken golden. 
I don't know how you're supposed to do a lemon cucumber, but I'm going to do mine like this. Some of y'all may tell me that ain't the way you do it, John. So I'll do it this way too. I figure you can do it however you want to. Give me a little bite see if I wanted them nice, Try it out, Mama. It's interesting, and it looks pretty in the bowl. So it's got points for that. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think. Mama, it don't taste like lemon, but it does have a little bite to it, doesn't it? If that's what it's supposed to taste. Not a bad bite. It just got the uh, almost a citrusy twang to it. So I think maybe it gets its name from the color of its shell and its shape. But it's a good cucumber. Thank you, whoever gave us the, those seeds. Try a little with salt. Which one with salt, this one? You might just kind of sprinkle it over to the top, Mama. What do you think? That's good. You got some big seeds. I might have let that one get too big. Mama says she might let it get too big. You think you did? It's good. Here's the package of seeds. Did they come from? Cucumber lemon. If y'all want to screenshot that. I know it's backwards, but you can screenshot it anyway. Alrighty then. How's that? It's coffee time. Let's drink some coffee. See what you all are up to. They're called lemon cucumbers because the back, back, back. They're called lemon cucumbers because the inside looks like a lemon. Okay, Carla, I can see that. It does. It's got little segmented sections, but they're good. Um, I'm, I froze y'all up. Hold on two seconds. Well, ho, John and Mama from North Alabama, show sure, you're our neighbor. Thank you for those stars, Cynthia. Thank you all for the stars. Hey, Mary, how are you? Hey, Helen. Hey, Betty. Love you too, Betty. We love you all too. Hey, Kay Horn, how are you? Is it a cucumber or a lemon cucumber? It's a lemon cucumber. Did I say that right? It's a cucumber lemon. Actually... <laughs> cucumber lemon. There it is. That's the package the seeds came from. Um, it tastes a little different than a cucumber, but Mama says she might let it get too big. I like it though. It don't taste too hard or nothing though. No, it don't taste hard. You want to do another cucumber, Mama? A regular old country cucumber? No. No. You've had your cucumber lemon, she said. There was a whole... Oh, you threw well away, though. The night mama had oh, some... Had some... Uh, unsavory-looking properties on it, you said. I couldn't see it. You said it was on the back side. I didn't like the looks of it. If mama don't like the looks of it, it's out of here. <laughs> if you got more... You can have whatever's in here, Mama. I don't have to have any. <laughs> oh, we put an empty container in there, basically. I know we ate it with the... Fajitas? The fajitas. You did. Yeah, I ate a lot with my beans. That's what I did yesterday. You've ate it all up, Mama. I mean, I do sour cream. Mama, I got something better than sour cream. Green onion dressing still in the refrigerator. We've not eaten. 
it stands about right there. Um, but it's still delicious. One other thing about the green onion dressing, you want to start out with good fresh green onions because the better the onion, the longer the dressing's gonna last. Are you through with the knife? I'm through with everything, Mama, and I'm just an observation now. Oh. Bring that chicken over if it's done. Did you temp it? No, I'm gonna let you Oh, I got to check. Here, let's look at this chicken. I don't think they're done enough yet. The potatoes? Yeah. These are grilled to perfection. Here you go, sir. You can tell this it's golden. It's lightly brown. Mama, we'll put you to work. I'm going to get you an application oh. to work at a restaurant. Which one? You got me one at Taco Sitch. They had go in and out. Which one's that one? What's the magic tent, Mama? They say 165, but I like it higher. How does 176 hit you? That's a lot better. Climbing, climbing, climbing. 170, we're heading right on up toward it. Mama, these are all done. 75, 85. Woo! 85 is one eighty five. Uh -huh. Well, these are hitting eighty six, eighty seven. Mm -hmm. These are hitting. Old school. We had to have poultry at one hundred and eighty five. But then I lowered it to one hundred and sixty five. If you grow up with a mama who has to go to health safety classes twice a year and pass tests and, and, and know a lot of stuff about food, you will be told often about cross-contamination. Some of them climb slowly and some of them are climbing so quick it just shoots up. But they're all getting, they're all getting to the 65 range and beyond. And beyond. Well yeah. this one here is um, stalling out. Well it's the least one thin when it should. No it's thick. Oh it's thick there where you got it. Oh. I don't know what I did. It's already at 262 now. 60 foot. 63, 4, 5. Yeah, we're above. We're good. Here's another rule. You don't, you don't close this. You know, when you store it, you close it. You don't do that after you use it. You leave it open. It don't get closed until it's been washed thoroughly. And then you can close it and put it back up. So, you lay it down on your surface, opened. That way there's no question if it's been washed or not. That's a mama rule. Always has been. Mama, if I, I'm going to take this spatula. And I'm going to scrape every drop of sour cream out of it for you. Because I know you're a sour cream gal. Does anybody know how to make sour cream quick and easy? I don't have to Can you move the cutting board down? on it? Yes, ma'am. No, I'm getting you some sour cream though. I want you to have some. Oh, I'll have a little. You must have known when you were out because you put basically an empty container back in the refrigerator. Well, if it's got a drop, I use You probably said, there's enough for one bite of potato in there. There's enough for me to eat one bite of potato. And then what Mama does sometimes now, she'll save the sour cream container if it's got a little in it. And then she'll mix a dressing up or something in it so she can use it. Mama, I think I did pretty good. Look at that. Oh, wow. And there's that's just a drop more in there, but that's yours. Okay. You can have that. Well, move that cucumber down. Yes, ma'am. A little. I'm moving, Mama. Stick a fork in it. I'm moving, 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 moving. Look at this beautiful salad, folks. Now, don't that look like downtown? And you're talking about, that's a homegrown tomato. If you had bought that tomato even, under $5.
We've not tasted it yet. That's a fact. That's but a we will. Fork. Yours is laying down there. Past the dressing. Yes, ma'am. Hands off my fork, correct? Well, I've done use my salad tongs for my chicken. So I guess I'll use this. How's the potatoes? She's going to check them. All right, folks, let's see what you all are up to. we got a few more minutes on the potatoes. That can't be right. It says, 20. It says 12 more minutes, but I know that's not right. Better get out of Mama's way. I know, Linda. She's told me twice to move them cucumbers. Yeah. Are you moving slow? I am. There, I had to go get napkins. You're the best one, Mama. I swear. I swear. All right. I don't think you should sit them that close to your plate. Let's move everything back. Well, just, a just let it check and they may have to go back in here because it's a little hard earlier. Um, I bought cranberries and pecans from Sam's to make cookies. I like to add by putting, putting those on salads too. Oh, I love pecans and Oh, I do too. I love cranberries. And, I love all that in cookies Take and salads. your fork and see. I love all those in cookies and salads. Mama, I, I can tell you right now they're done. I can tell by looking at them. Well, Their skins have separated. But are they going to yeah, the Yes, ma'am. They're perfect. Try one of these fatter ones. Yes, ma'am. Let's show you the potatoes. I forget about since the dragons over here once in a while. I apologize. That's me. Yes, ma'am. These are done. You can tell the jackets are coming loose. The fork's going right in. I'm coming right out. It's perfection, Mama. You did a good job on them new potatoes. Well, let's get them out. No, that's a big old thing, Mama. Let me get this right here. This is perfection for it. We're good to go. Eating time has come. Folks, you all got to watch this from start to finish. You just watched me cut those potatoes up marinated that chicken so you know this supper was quick and easy I like quick and easy on Friday nights I like it on any night but uh, you know sometimes you want re we call it real food when, when mom and I say it's time for some real food it includes, it potatoes. includes mashed potatoes or potatoes you want some butter on your potatoes um I'm okay without it, I believe. Okay. Let me have the rest of yours. And I'll put a little butter. That's enough for me, Mama. Okay. Oh. Whoops. I dropped that butter knife. Or case knife. How many of y'all say case knife and how many of y'all say butter knife? Any case knifers out there? Well, we're going to either sell it on the side of the Yeah, table. I'm just going to. You want a bow? Mm-mm. Um, in case knifers out there, I don't know the origin of case knife. Well, there's a piece of chicken in that. I don't know if it's a southern thing or not. You all may We've tell. I always me. called them case knives. Case knives, and in the south, a case knife. Right Let's stay warm in it. Skillet. I'm a monitor. You're a monitor. <laughs> You're going to have to have more than one little twig of chicken, Mama. That's not much. Look at that. That's quite a bit. Chickens eat more chicken than that. They don't eat more chicken than that. In the South, <laughs> get your sacre. That's In the South, a case knife is also a flat-headed screwdriver. It's a prize bar. It's something to um, stick in your drawer and get other silverware loose where it's stuck up in there or anything else that gets stuck up in a drawer you take a case knife and do this number between the drawer and the thing and you knock something loose in there that's been holding you off you um, want some of this? no ma'am no ma'am no i don't want i wouldn't i wouldn't take yours but i wouldn't if we had a whole case of it i just that ain't gonna be what i want 
and I'm going to put my salad right there. Look at that. And I'm going to get an extra little tomato. Now this has got all the ingredients, and when I go to the bottom like that and bring it back up from the top, you get them all. Get a little bacon, get a little sunflowers. I just want just a little bit of salad and a piece of tomato with it. Oh, that's good. Mama, you're not playing fair tonight. I think I'm playing pretty fair. Not much fair. What have you eaten today, Mama? Well, I eat the rest of those refried beans today. I'm telling y'all, Mama loves refried beans. You all have seen us have a leftover ribeye. Granny steak was safe in that, as they could be. They didn't get eaten, not one bite of those leftovers for two days. Mama's had refried beans for one day and they're gone. <laughs> you didn't eat them with sour cream? Yeah, that's how come I know they was, I thought there's another whole thing in there. Oh, at lunch today. Yeah, but I had... How much sour cream you had today then, Mama? Just a little bit. Not about a fourth of that or not that much. Just a little spoonful. Okay. Are you monitoring my sour cream? No, I just thought if you ate a half a tub, no wonder I could have <laughs> to scrape the bottom no. of that barrel. <laughs> I didn't eat a half a tub. Oh, let's pray. <laughs> dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal. We praise you for the nourishment of our bodies and dear lord we just pray that you'll be with us watch over us be with each and every prayer request that's turned in lord some for healing and some for nourishment of the soul and the mind dear lord and we just pray that you'll be with each and every one and be with our country be with our leaders be with leaders all around the world lord the bible tells us that you put into office who needs to be there and we trust you to to be with them and dear lord, we just want your guidance and your direction in your name we pray amen mm -hmm. Folks, dressing for our dress, salad. This looks just like downtown. You've got that beautiful lemon pepper chicken. Those beautiful new roasted potatoes. Whoops, a little steam coming up onions. <laughs> and then this beautiful salad that came out of a kit. And I didn't have to work that hard. All right, Mama. I'm going to put you one drop. And what is that? Uh, mm, uh, you threw the bag away. Yeah, I do it, didn't I? I don't even know what this was called. Do you like it? Green onion? Give me a little bit more of that, just a little. <laughs> you think you're going to like it? I'll try it. I'm going to try it on mine. I think it's okay. Okay, don't drip no more. Quit dripping. Set that right there on the cut. Well, you want a, some uh, lemon cucumber, Mama? No, better. It's not a burpless lemon cucumber, is it? No. I'm going to put me one right there. Now, Mama's having the sour cream. I'm going to have a little bit of green onion. And I'll dip my potato in it. It's still delicious. When did we make this? You always with us. Do you remember when we made the green onion? How long has it been? I can't remember. Come a little bit closer. Alright. I'm going to bring y'all down just a little bit. Yummy. Hey, Catherine, how are you? Uh, Dot says, that looks so good. It is good, Dot. I've not even tasted it, but I can tell you on faith, that chicken's delicious. And those potatoes, this is a super, it's a super delicious supper, but it's so quick. So easy. Now, if you don't have new red potatoes. That's potato, a sweet onion dressing. Sweet onion and citrus dressing. Citrus. It's good. I yeah, was shocked I that like it. Was good. I like it, but I know you like certain ones. Um, if you don't have new red potatoes, just get you a bag of potatoes. We fix, these are just because we have them. And these were little, too little to peel, and they're good mm -hmm. this way, and you don't waste them. They're very good. Uh, <clears throat> just get you a regular potato and quarter it up, or dice, you know, just chunk it up and do the same thing. We do that in the winter a lot of oh, times. Oh, yeah. And uh, sometimes we'll do potatoes, cauliflower, and broccoli together, just like this. 
and it's delicious in a moment. In fact, it's one of my favorite things. I'm gonna taste this potato just by itself. Mmm. Mama, you grow the best potatoes. I know it. I'm a good potato grower. Not tomatoes this year. Well, my potatoes, I didn't plant any Harley's water. You can't be responsible for the tomato harvest. Because a lot of people said trouble with tomatoes. It's kind of like the COVID virus. One household has had no problem with tomatoes. And they said, oh, we have tomatoes done about like they always did. I'll talk to somebody else and they say, I've not had a good tomato yet. And they're just, I said, that's what mama's is doing. I talked to somebody else and I said, we've had pretty good, or I can, 32 quarts. And I'm like, you've had plenty of tomatoes more than we have. It's strange, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This citrus dressing is delicious. This is another wonderful market side salad. I haven't tried any of them that I don't like. I will tell you that. And that bacon... Is real bacon in there. You can taste the bacon, can't you, Mama? Yeah. And y'all know how Mama feels about bacon bits, even real ones. I don't like them. Good. But those were good. That tomato's good in there. Just lemon cucumber. It's delicious. Sets that salad off a little bit. We have never eaten kale here. Never bought kale. And in the past year, we've had more kale... <laughs> And more kale salads, and we've we've liked it pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm. Some of you older folks out there, my age, you '80s kids, '70s kids. I started to say you're not an '80 kid. How <laughs> many have, have to bring that up? Do you remember when you got kale and you just throwed it away? On your plates, every restaurant you went to, I don't know if it's in the 90s or not, but every restaurant had a little water kale on it. First thing you do, you picked it off and put it on the side of your plate. It's just what you did with it. It was just a garnish. And even if you tried to eat it, your mommy would say, Dine. And now it's a top leading vegetable. Good for you. Isn't that funny? Mm hmm. Mm. Folks, if this had marinated all night, I don't know how much better it could have been. Cause this, I think it's got good flavor already. It has delicious flavor. That Italian dressing, that lemon juice just penetrates through that chicken. A little lemon pepper on top. It's delicious. And Mama, you fried it just perfect. Okay. That's what I want my chicken to look like. Now, I would say... That's what all chickens should look like, but they each their own. I want it golden brown, just like that. I want the center juicy and tender, and Mama, you hit it A+. Plus. Well, thank you. Mmm. And the potatoes, wonderful. Maggie's over here eating and drinking. Potatoes dipped in green onion dressing. Mmm. Good too, Mama. How's I that little bit of sour cream? That's wonderful. We'll, when I eat the lice, I feel guilty though. We'll have to tell Alexa to put that on the list. Well, I got cottage cheese, and when I got home, there was a cottage, whole cottage cheese in there. So it must have been sour cream I was supposed to got. got the <laughs> thing. Pour some dressing on my salad. Yes, ma'am. I like it pretty good. Mama's liking this. It, what do I it again? Sweet onion. Sweet sit, onion citrus. citrus I started to call it something else, but sweet onion wouldn't come into my mind. I'm going to put it right on top there, Mama. Oh, you're doing good this time. That's good. You had on the side before we go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to steal me a little bit more, too, because that's good. It's good on that cucumber. Folks, I get these. I don't think there's anywhere else you can get them besides the big store, which is Walmart. Some of you people don't know me from the big store talking. Uh, I call Walmart the big store. Um, but that market side salads are all good. And there is, well, you can see what's here. Um, and we've done dipped out of it. 
twine. We get two little salads out of it. So that would be me and mama a salad again. And if it's still left, I could take the rest of it for lunch Monday. So you're talking about two huge helpings. If you were going to do a dinner salad, one of those that comes on the big oval plates or the big round plates with chicken, two adults could eat that bag of salad and it's less than five dollars. So for two fifty, you could have a salad that you would pay fourteen dollars or fifteen dollars at a restaurant. Just saying, Mama, what do you think about supper tonight? Very good. It's also good. We got plenty of chicken. So tomorrow for lunch, we'll divide that salad up, put this chicken on top of it. And you talk about a good lunch, a grilled chicken salad. Mm -hmm. You got anything to add to that, Mom? No, I'm just tickled to use these little bitty red potatoes that I picked up and dug out. They're so good. There's one I didn't cut. Mm mm. You want some more potatoes? No, not right now. If you want some more, just eat right out of the corner of that pan, my mother, mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. What do y'all got to say? Anything? I take, let's see, I take the tomatoes out of the salad and last, last, yeah, Pamela, it will. Do not store salad with tomatoes. That's the reason most of the time, if I add tomatoes to a salad like this, I'll just put them around the edge. Same thing with dressing a salad. I know probably etiquette would tell you you should dress the salad and flip it. We never put it on it in the container. We put it on it on the plate because if there's any left, that salad, it'll break it down. If you ever have stored a salad with dressing on it, I need not tell you what that lettuce turns into. <laughs> so that's the reason we always just put it on the thing. Yeah. You choked? Mm -mm. You sure? Just about it, but not. Just about, but not. All right. Anything else, Mama? No. What are y'all saying over here? John and Mama, house green onion dressing. Yes, that's what this is right here. This is house green onion dressing. Um, and there is a, a recipe for it in the video that we did this on. Go to our page on Coffee Time. Coffee Time with John and Mama. Now, there are some fake pages out there that have duplicated us. And you'll see our faces. And you'll see our logo and all that. But they'll say Coffee Time with John and Mama fans or Coffee Time with John and Mama group. and One of them does just say Coffee Time with John and Mama, but you can tell the difference. And if you ever want to know, our started May the 7th, 2020, this page. We've been on here a minute. Um, there's over 100,000 of y'all watching. 100, maybe close to 150. So check those things out. If you see a page that's a month old, a week old, and they don't have as many, you know that's a fake page. We don't have but one page. We have a VIP, a VIP Tupperware page out there in Facebook land that Maria takes care of. And then this one here that I take care of and Mama takes care What's of. What's about the it's, Etsy? Etsy is a link. Oh that's God. different, Mama. The links that, don't, don't choose any links under the comments either unless I put them on here because I've not approved any links to be shared people will even put their tupperware link and i guess it's theirs on our page which is just not good but uh any links i just delete and usually just ban the person who put them on there without permission because you know that's not etiquette you just don't do that but uh I can't vouch for any of their links, and I wouldn't want any one of you all to go to a bad link because once you start clicking, that's when you get taken advantage of. I know we have a lot of folks that are on those robot things, and they'll comment on every other page, be my friend, send me a friend request. Folks, if you could see the comments that I get, they have commented to 25 people. So don't feel privileged that someone's wanting to talk to you. They don't even know you. They've not even seen you. That's a robot. They set those robot comments to comment to every third person or every second person or every person. And that's the reason you'll see a whole string of them and then they're gone. Because they know Facebook will stop them if they comment too much. 
But they set them up that way to try to hook somebody into clicking on them and coming to their page or sending them money or something like that. Don't fall for that foolishness. But if you just, a lot of people will get, they say that this person has commented on me. They really don't know you, but we try to block them all that we find. NOLA is always on that. I try to go in and block. We can't always block every one of them. And sometimes they comment and then they remove them, so we can't block them. So there's all kinds of little scams going on out there. Their new thing is they will just comment and say, hello. Instead of a whole big long paragraph, you'll just get, hello, how are you? And then you think, well, this is a real person. No, don't fall for that either. There are men and there are women. And a lot of the men's names are two first names. They don't, whoever's doing this don't know about surnames as much as they should. Because it won't be like John Smith, it'll be like John Alex. Or Roger Clark. Or two first names, you know. Uh, James uh, William. So they use double first names, that's another clue. But that's enough on that mess. Just don't fall for any of that nonsense. But you can go to our page, Coffee Time with John and Mama, and a lot, of, all of our recipes are basically on there. And if you go to the videos, you can see all of our videos, and you'll see them posted on there somewhere. Uh, Nancy says, "I do too." Hey, Judy, how are you? Jerry, hi, John and Mama. Jerry, how are you doing this evening? Glad it's Friday. So sorry to hear about your dog. Loving prayers, Valerie. Valerie from Boston. Valerie, did somebody lose a fur baby? I'm so sorry if you did. This I didn't is, see it. I'll go back and look at comments. This is National Dog Day. It's National Dog Day. It's National Maggie Day. National Dog Day. I'll tell you what. People who don't have pets don't understand. Don't ever pass off... Oh, you lost a dog or a cat, it's just a pet. That is not, that's not the way they feel. Uh, Maggie is a member of our family. We don't own Maggie. She is her own little dog and she is just lives with us. Um, pets are members of the family, just like anybody else. It doesn't have to be a human to love and dogs will love you. Dogs will love you unconditionally. If humans had love like dogs, the world would be a better place. A dog can be upset. You can do stuff to dogs that you shouldn't do. Uh, and they'll love you in spite of everything. You can leave them at home alone all day. And they'll love you when you get there. They don't say, where have you been? You've left me here all day. They just say, I'm so glad to see you. Let me love you. Mackie does me that way every day. You get <coughs> greeted every day with a bar. I feel like a king when I walk in the door. She's there to welcome me. And your pets are too. And aren't isn't that wonderful? It, you know, they don't live long enough for, for us. Um, we've lost pets before. And we are tore up for a while. Uh, we lost our other schnauzer. Sierra, 14 years ago, at least 14 years ago, and there's days that Mama and I'll sit and talk about her, and it's so sad. We miss her. Um, we talked to her about you all. Even come and watch her, be with her. Oh, when we had to, yeah. I mean, there are prayers for whoever's lost a pet. We pray for you in the condolences because it's it's a bad feeling and, and you don't replace pets you don't replace them it's like anything else um, they're a part of your family and they're important and you love them and you love them and you know that they're not here forever and you love them even more and uh, trust me I do lots of things inconvenient things that I don't always want to do, but I do it because I love Maggie. Like going out in July and sitting on the porch. <laughs> that ain't exactly something I would probably do when it's 95 degrees. But if Maggie wants to go out, I'll go out there. 
I had a ceiling fan put on the porch just because I had to go out there and sit with her. Um, and I usually let her stay as long as she wants to. She's the one that says, let's go in. Is that inconvenient sometimes? Yes. Do I do it? Yes. And I'm glad I have the opportunity to do it. I really am. I'm just thankful that I have the opportunity to love on Maggie. Because she is a sweet baby. Now, she's laying right here on the hardwood floor at Mama's feet. And she's got five beds she could be laying in. That's dedication, folks. <laughs> if Mama wasn't here, she'd be laying on my feet. And that's dedication. That's love. That's unconditional love. And, you know, I'm not trying to say anything other than the fact that dog is God spelled backwards. I don't think they carry any extra spiritual powers or anything like that. I'm just simply saying. When they name dogs, it's God spelled backwards. So, and we feel that closely. Uh, to Maggie, oh. don't we, Mama? Yeah, she's all tired. She's just laying here, taking it. I think she's listening. I think she's hearing it. John and Mama's house green dress and Nola. Nola's must be posting the recipe, so Nola's got that recipe going right there, folks. Uh, he's still having that potato. Oh, holding it on this floor. <laughs> you call me. <laughs> oh, uh, let us see her. Y'all, we'll get dizzy. Maggie, say hello, baby. Maggie, May. Oh, we better get up. She needs to go to the groomer. I know. Her bangs is a little long. But my grimmer is not able to do it now. That means me and Maggie has to get all reacquainted with the grimmer. I cut her hair the last time. And it looked pretty good. But as sweet and wonderful and loving as she is, she's mean. She's a Jekyll and Hyde when it comes to the grimmer. Let's just say this Maggie has her own muzzle. And we definitely use it because she would tear you up. She will bite you. Uh, I don't think she would bite for the world on a normal day. But on grooming day, I don't think I know. <laughs> You've got bit before. She's bit me <laughs> on more than one occasion. Never dried the blood, though. But she let me know. I could if I wanted to. You better back off. Um, but, yeah, she has her own muscle. Mama wouldn't believe it, but she's seen it. Didn't you, Mama? Mm -hmm. Let's see what y'all are up to. Such a cute... Oh, she is a doll. Uh, she's adorable. She really is. She, she. Now, let me tell you something else about her. Only time I've ever held her, like, in my lap, or is when I've taken her to the vet, or trying to... With a groomer. She don't want to be held. She mm -hmm. wants her feet on the floor. She will occasionally... When she's feeling extra, extra, needing some loving, she will take her front paws and limb up on your knee or something. But most of the time, she'll just come up four feet on the floor and look up at you like, come on she down here and give me petting, a pet. petting, but she don't want help. And she gets plenty of petting, but she don't get any holding. She don't want it. Um, I held her up here one day. We were filming, and it was bad. What else? <laughs> and then she was mad. She pouts. She will turn her back to you. And then she'll look over her shoulder at you when she's mad. And when I held her up here and showed her, y'all, that's what I got. was over-the-shoulder glances. Um, they don't last long. She gets over it. But she don't like it. How's she doing during, during the storm, Mama? <clears throat> thought she about her. crawled up under, on her bed, up under the bed. She scooted it and hid. She was hiding. In the guest bedroom... <clears throat> she has her own bed. And it was laying at the foot of the bed. And it was just because we have a, a, the, uh, that's where our office is, is where the mama does her stuff in there on one wall. And then there's a, a bed. And then my office is in the corner. And she just wants to be in there when we're in there. So the bed was at the foot of the bed. She 
It's so funny. She pushes it over with her nose to the side of the bed, but half in, half out. She lays with her head under the bed, but from her shoulders back it's sticking out. But she wants her head under the bed. And she really thinks she's hidden. She has no idea. If there's a storm, she scoots up as far as she can without... Or she gets the same kind of thing and she gets under my bed. Now, we had one bad storm one night, and I put her in the bed with me. No, ma'am. No. Have you, ever, have you ever been laying in bed and the schnauzer circles you back and forth at about 10 miles an hour? And then tries to jump out and cry. That's where she was. I think being in the bed scared her worse than the storm. It's all on her terms. She wants to get up at the head of the bed. She wants her head under the bed. And she wants to get as close as she can to you. But she does not, under any circumstance, want to be out of control. Four feet on the floor at all times. Uh, I don't. She was a rescue, so... Uh, I don't know why that could have been, and it could just be her personality. Good evening, John and Mama. Hello, Latrice. How are you? It's storming in Effie. Nancy, it's stormed here about all afternoon. Mm -hmm. And last night stormed. it stormed bad. Thunder yeah. was awful last night. Lightning. It stormed pretty good last night. All animals are level. Yes, they are, Tina. We love animals. We do love animals. Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Janet. Hi, how are you? Hey, Carol. Folks, we're not going to keep you tonight. We're going to let you just go. I'm going to finish eating my chicken and potatoes and my salad. And I, I finally did eat the potato, in case y'all were watching. <laughs> uh, we're going to let you go. It's Friday night. We will probably be on here tomorrow sometime. I don't know when. Mama, what did you Than the day, I, guess. I mean, are you going somewhere? You didn't yeah, farmers? I'm going to the farmer's market in the morning, get see what they've got and stuff. And that's all I've really got planned. Well, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. I may go to the farmer's market with you. Well, good. Can I tag along? Yeah, if you'll be good. If I'll be good. Mm -hmm. I used to tell you, if you go with me, you're going to be good. Was I? Yeah. I'm still here to talk about it. That's right. <laughs> they think we're awful, Mom. I'd always say you're not in bad. Well, thank you, Patricia. Um, Patricia says she loves our videos. We don't do anything. We don't plan anything. This is just real life living. And we just, that's kind of the whole idea of coffee time. We don't want it to be staged in any way. What we do is what we do. And we really just want to invite you into our kitchen like we would family or friends that were right here in our neighborhood and just have a chat. Just sit and eat and uh, talk and drink coffee and just take a little break from the world. Uh, we love to talk and enjoy you all and so sometimes you may think well what are they going to do we're just chatting like right now we probably should just go on and leave y'all alone that's right <laughs> <laughs> but here we are just chatting about dogs but that's the way family does you sit down with family and topics just spring up in the conversation and uh, right. you just learn and you talk and you enjoy uh, you don't have a program. You don't have a set thing of anything you're going to talk about. We don't know what we're going to talk about. We don't ever. We have never said, now tonight let's do this or tonight let's do that. The only thing we plan is the meal. And sometimes we don't do a good job at that. No, we don't. <laughs> and sometimes we switch. Right in midstream we'll switch. Sometimes at the beginning of the video you'll hear me say, and Mama's going to do some green beans and corn. And then time we get ready to eat, Mama's like, I ain't going to do that corn. <laughs> That's okay. so true. I'm sure you can find those little bloopers in our videos because we're just real life. That's just the way we live. But we want you all to be a part of it. We want you all to feel comfortable and feel like family. And just come on back. 
as, as the say in the South. You come on back now, you hear? So uh, tomorrow we'll be back on here with something else, and uh, you all come on back and be with us. I don't know what we'll be up to. It may be food. It may be chat. We may go to the farmer's market. It may take you to the farmer's market tomorrow if you all want to go. The only thing about taking you to the farmer's market is I don't want to ever be disrespectful to any of the patrons there or any of the vendors there. There are a few that we know that don't mind. Um, so I try to not get faces and I try not to get people. So if it's just overran with people, it's hard to film live. Um, and I don't ever want to say, I'm not going down there. Uh, John and Mama will be down there with that camera. So I don't want to ever do anything like that. So um, when we take you somewhere, it's usually we try to avoid that. But now some people don't mind. So, But we want to always be respectful of everybody else and what they're doing. Right, Mama? Yeah. Mama, you cleaned your plate, but you didn't have much to start with. Did you get another piece of chicken? No. You're going to get some more for protein? Yeah, probably not. I'm kind of full. I've eaten all the salad. I got extra potatoes, too. Well, good. I'm glad you did while I was chatting. Mama, you got anything you want to say? You've not said much tonight. No, I've just been listening and eating. Are you feeling okay today, Mama? Yeah. You're looking good. I like that outfit you're wearing. Well, it's kind of old, but it's still wearable. It's wearable. <laughs> it's pretty. It's blue. Mm. Mama, you got, if you ain't got nothing else, you ain't going to sing or dance or nothing? No, not tonight. We'll save that for a special occasion. <laughs> Maggie's got a plate over on the floor. Mm-hmm. A styrofoam plate. She scoots it around. Did Mama feed her something in it? Well, maybe a little bit of something. What was it, Mama? No, no, no. Maggie, what have you had today? Was it healthy, Mama? Oh, sure. I won't give her nothing to hurt her. <laughs> Mama Poor loves Maggie. Thing. It's probably whatever you had for lunch. I didn't share my lunch. I just had that much bean stuff. We uh, ate it all last night, I remember, all except a little bite I put in a little bowl. We didn't eat all of it. Maggie ate. I did give Maggie some meat last night. Yeah, she had some meat, some treats. She had some treats. Folks, y'all have a blessed night. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Get up in the morning with a whole new attitude, a whole new blessed day approach, and see how many good things can happen to you. Um, if we do anything different, because like I said, we don't plan a lot. So if we do go in the morning and it's slow and there's not many there, then we'll try to go on. Uh, just keep your phone near. If you hear us beep, you'll say, well, they're up to something. <laughs> I mean this. <laughs> say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. And God bless you all. Bye-bye. Y'all have a blessed night. <laughs>